Let's take a look at finding the sum of the squared residuals. Um, well, in order to uh, do that, we need our regression equation. Um, this this formula uh, right or this uh, column right here will be y hat. So I'm going to have equals, and we'll have our slope. Then I'll put a beginning parentheses, and then I'll do uh, let me see a two. Wait a minute, this is the y's. So begin parentheses b2 colon b8. Then it wants my y values or x values, which would be a2 uh, colon a8. And then uh, close parentheses. Now that'll give us our slope. And then uh, then we'll take that times our x value, which is a2. And then we'll add our intercept. So I'll do intercept. and b2 colon b8 comma a2 colon a8 close parentheses on intercept and enter now there'd be a problem with this formula then let me show it well well anyway you see enough of it um, we got b2 b8 and so forth times a2 and that refers to the a2 here well, if I fill this down like that, well, I get a weird result down here. But if I look at this, this is now referring to B3 through B9. B3 through B9. So what we have to do on this one is for our B's, I have to put dollar signs before it, like that. And before our A's, I have to put a dollar sign. And then before the numbers also. This is absolute absolute referencing. If you don't do that, then it won't work right when you fill it down. And same over here on the intercept. Put a dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, and dollar sign, dollar sign. Now push enter. Now if I fill this down, then it's going to give us the, the right value. Now I do y minus y hat. This is going to give us the residuals. So I do equals um, B2 minus C2. Subtract those and enter. And I'll fill it down. Like that. Now we want the residual squared. So this is Y minus Y hat squared. So I got y minus y hat and d2, so I'll do d2 care 2. Enter. And then I'll fill down. Come down to here, and I'll push my sum, and my check mark, and that's our sum of the squared residuals. Um, not, not too easy, especially this right here. If you're not very good with formulas, like, oh, oh my lord, that's, uh, that's nasty. Um, now, if you like formulas, then, um, like I do, <laughs> you, you kind of enjoy those. It's like, all right, I, I love these. Uh, let me show you a little easier way in Excel. Well, I'm going to go to my uh, data tab, wherever that's at. There it is. And I'll choose data analysis. And um, trying to see it here. Regression. Oh, here's regression. Um, then, o then OK. And if you choose residuals down here when you do this, and this says B2 through B8, uh, that's right. This one says A2 through A8. And I know they have dollar signs, and that's fine. And I'll click OK. Because remember, this is, uh, this is static anyway. This isn't going to dynamically change. And then if I click OK, I come over here. Let me blow this up a little bit. And let's look at these values. 1.57, negative 7.1. 1.57, negative 1.71. Uh, 0, uh, 1.714. It's giving us the residuals, isn't it? So it's doing all that for us. So all we need to do is square that and then sum it. So if I come over here, I got my residuals. 
I'm going to square those. So I'm going to do equals C25 care 2 for squaring it. And then I'll fill that down. And I click down here and I go to my home tab and I'm going to click the auto sum. And then check mark. And that'll give us our sum of our squared residuals. So there's our squared residuals. And this is the sum of them right here, right here. We should match what we got here, which it does. Now the beauty of this one over here is, is I change any value, whatever I might put there, then it'll dynamically change all this over here. None of this is hard coded. Um, but over here, it hasn't changed anything. Um, so the data, um, the data analysis is nice, it's easy, but using formulas sometimes will give us a lot better result because um, we don't have to um, redo it. It it's updates automatically. So just that'd be good, good formulas.